I'm Aaron Howlett. I read original Christian rock. I put some lyrics down already. That's the thing I've been doing recently. I need to come up with a guitar part, set the tempo, and start going like I always do. So let's just jump into it. <laughs> It's kind of like a verse riff, I think. So what do I want to go into? All right, I think I got it. So I'm going to do a verse, a little build to the chorus, and then the chorus will just be F sharp D. And I'm just doing E minor, but putting the D. It sounds kind of like a something else, but <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. Um, I'm gonna do some stuff over top. I think I might try and harmonize that um, little like, pre-chorus part. More guitars for the chorus. Why not? Guitar solo is next, so third verse, actually third verse and pre-chorus are probably going to be the guitar solo. Alright, I need a bass part, so... I don't know, something. Let me have record and just improvise like I always do because I got no freaking clue. <laughs> That syncopated, like, pre-chorus part, I wanted to just make it punch. Instead of adding a bunch more guitars, sometimes the easy thing to do is add, like, a synth lead or something like that. Just mix it in a little bit below the guitars. Yeah, so the first one is this. Second one. Together. And then in the mix... Yeah, I'm not going to show those in the parts where I'm like playing everything together because I literally just entered in the MIDI and went click, click, click and typed in the notes quick because it's just simply root fifth, ninth, root fifth, ninth, root fifth, ninth, root fifth, ninth. And then I just grabbed the thing, copy pasted it. So it wasn't even worth it. Uh, all right, let's see. <laughs> I think that worked. I had one fill in the end where I kind of like hesitated and I mean, I think I managed to save it because everything I did was on time. I was just like, my brain just froze. So I didn't hit the snare, but I think it sounds like a like little hesitation fill. So kind of have an idea, not necessarily the melody because I am still going to just make that up as I go, <laughs> but just kind of like the flow of how I'm going to go through the verse. I think I'm going to end up overlapping into the chorus. So I'm going to do what I keep doing or I've been doing and just do that on a separate track. So let me see here. I think that worked. Yeah, I actually did a couple tries at the vocals. It took me a bit to warm up today. I was fine for the verse, but doing the high stuff, I just had to warm up. So this is like take 14 on the chorus. The uh, 
lyrics here are going to be in the bottom of the description box. If you want to check those out, the middle of my description box has where you can find me online. And it's just places like iTunes, Amazon, Spotify. I don't have it a lot. Or I don't have... Do I? I don't even know. I might have links. I might not. I think I don't. If you use, say iTunes, just type my name in their search bar, you'll find me. Same thing for Spotify or whatever. The top thing I have is Bible teaching because I said it's Christian rock in the beginning. So I put it there as a resource. It's great stuff. I can't say enough good things about it because unlike every other place that just throws in subjective ideas, opinions, denominational things, and traditional baggage that's been passed down, this is just strictly biblical text analysis to the root of what the meaning is, what the writers were actually intending when they put the words down. The New Testament was written Greek. In Koine Greek, which is like the Greek common tongue, not classical Greek, but the common tongue at the time, the uh, Old Testament is a little bit of Aramaic and mostly Hebrew. If you're translating, like any translation you can imagine, sometimes there's a little bit lost in transmission, so you gotta just go to the original and have someone that knows the language that can really explain, because some things are lost. If there's an idiom or something and you directly translate it, you're going to get the wrong idea. Sometimes, grammatically, the choices they made when translating into English are a little nonsensical, and I don't care what version you're using, so you just got to go to the original. And a lot of debates would be cleared up if people did that, but that's a whole other subject. Anyway, the teaching... <clears throat> Dang, allergies. That's why I couldn't warm up. Sometimes it hits me. Anyway, yeah, the teaching is just on point, really perfect as far as not going into other stuff. So I can't recommend it highly enough. I'm about to choke here. <laughs> I need a water. <coughs> um, either or that, or I just inhaled some dust. But yeah, the teaching is really fantastic, and I can't say enough good things about it. So if you want to check it out, do so. I just provide it as a resource to be like, hey, come check this out, and that's all I'm doing. I just decided, since I know there's very little and lackluster teaching out there, I would put it in my description box. If anyone is interested in looking around, you can see this and go, oh, hey, there's an actually decent stuff. So that's it. As far as uh, seeing my music and more of it, subscribe, like, comment, share. You'll keep seeing me. <clears throat> I need more water.